City leaders are taking steps towards moving forward on Bob Hall Pier. The pier damaged badly, of course, by Hurricane Hannah. Noasis County ESD number two was out there earlier today surveying the damage. Our Mariah Gallego shows us more. As I was driving down here to Bob Hall Pier, many of the entrances were still closed, so I did have to park a bit further down and then walk over. But now that I'm here and I'm looking around, there is still quite a bit of cement blocks scattered along the beach, along with debris. We know that Nueces County ESD2 guided engineers down here earlier this morning so that they could begin assessing the damages. I spoke with Chief Del Scott earlier today, and he told me that the engineers were using drones to look overhead and see what the damage was was like there. They were also using tools to go underneath the water and see what the pier looked like from there as well. Now we know that this is just part one of a very lengthy process towards rebuilding the iconic Bob Hall Pier. On the ramp up, the concrete blocks have been moved. Think about the force of the water that had to, to move those blocks. For now, Mariah Gallegos, 3 News.